My name's John McFall, and I'm from the United Kingdom. I've always been hugely interested in science generally, uh, and space exploration has always been on my radar, but having had a motorcycle accident when I was 19, like wanting to join the armed forces, having a, a disability was always a contraindication uh, to doing that. And then uh, in early 2021, when the uh, advert for an astronaut uh, with a physical disability came out, I read the person specification and what it entailed. Uh, and I thought, wow, this is such a huge, interesting opportunity. And I thought that I would be a very good candidate to help ESA answer the question that they were, they were asking, can we get someone with a physical disability into space? And I felt compelled to apply. I grew up in the south of, of the UK. Uh, originally, uh, I always wanted to join the army, uh, and that was my, what my life was sort of tailored around. I came from a military family. I went away traveling at the end of my teenage years, and unfortunately had a motorcycle accident, uh, which resulted in the amputation of my, my right leg. I had a place at university to do sports and exercise science anyway after that, and I still took that place up. Um, I just happened to be an amputee. And then following that, I, uh, I taught myself to run again, and I got back into sport, because that was a huge part of my life. Subsequent to that, I, uh, I became a Paralympic athlete. And alongside that, I also um, uh, was studying a master's degree in sports and exercise science. Uh, I was fortunate, fortunate enough to take my sporting career uh, all the way to the Paralympic Games in Beijing, uh, where I won a bronze medal. <clears throat> uh, and then I realized that I couldn't be an athlete for my whole life. I, I probably needed to get a proper job. Uh, so I thought, well, what, what would I have liked to have done had I been 15, 16 and, and not wanted to join the army? And that was when I, I thought about medicine. It, just the, the idea of learning so much more about uh, the way stuff works, how we work, but applying it and doing something practical. So at 28, I ended up going back to medical school and studied medicine for, for five years in Cardiff uh, and uh, graduated in 2014. And I'm now um, uh, an orthopedic surgical trainee coming towards the end of my um, registrar training um, and hopefully uh, aiming to be a consultant in the, in the future. Uh, I'm married. Uh, I've got three children who are nine, eight and five. Um, and I still live in the south uh, of the UK. I'm a big fan of mountain biking. Mountain biking and running really are the main things I like to do. So just uh, for me, running is a big part of my life. And uh, I was always a runner before I lost my leg. And being able to run again as an amputee was such a huge uh, and important thing for me. And so that's kind of what I do on a reasonably regular basis, just to keep myself fit and healthy, really. But uh, I also do quite a bit of mountain biking. I was incredibly excited and uh, proud of myself that I'd got through the selection process. Uh, it'd been quite a whirlwind uh, experience, and given that uh, as an amputee, I'd never thought that being an astronaut was a possibility. Uh, so excitement was, was a huge uh, emotion, uh, and I look forward to uh, what the future holds. I think specifically, uh, I've got quite an interesting uh, focus or point of view uh, for human space exploration, being the first cohort of uh, astronauts with a physical disability. Not only have we got to undergo astronaut training, but we've got to undergo astronaut training and work out what it is ab about having a physical disability that makes it trickier and overcome those hurdles. So it adds a, an, an additional layer of complexity to that. I'm extremely excited about um, using the skills that I have for problem solving, um, identifying uh, issues um, and overcoming obstacles that allow people with a physical disability to, uh, to perform the job uh, equally to their able-bodied counterpart. Furthermore, I'm interested in actually the science of, of space exploration, what actually happens to someone with a, a lower limb amputation in microgravity, what happens to their residual limb, uh, and the, the science around that sort of thing. How does exercising in space differ? So all sorts of things like that. Uh, so there's, there's, there's lots that I'm passionate and interested about.
I think the message that I would give uh, to future generations is that science is for everyone and space travel hopefully can be for everyone.